students in the Beaverton and Salem-Kaiser school districts are heading back for their first day of class. You know, sadly, parents aren't just thinking about their kids' new teachers or schoolwork. They're also thinking about their kids' safety. Christine Pitawanas joins us now with more on that. So, Christine, school districts across the sta uh, state are actually taking some new steps this year when it comes to security. Yeah, that's right. And there's really no question about it. The first priority, of course, is learning. And of course, for kids to learn well, they have to feel safe. I went to a handful of the larger districts in the area to get a bit of an update on new security measures meant to give parents, kids and teachers a little more peace of mind. I'm excited for these kids to see the clean, wonderful building. And it's not just Shirley Brock, principal at Five Oaks Middle School in Beaverton, who feels that way. Some of that excitement is fueled by new security upgrades, especially in our current climate, one where we hear all too often about mass shootings. It's really disturbing. To keep kids safe, many districts have continued to make changes. Let's start in the Vancouver School District. This year, Ogden Elementary finally opened. The district completely rebuilt it thanks to a bond voters approved in 2017. And I know with the newer schools, we've got uh, secure entrances now, much more so than in the past. Most schools in Vancouver have locked entries or will have them within the next couple of years. There are cameras and visitors have to go through the office before they can enter the rest of the school. Down I-5 across the Columbia River to the Portland area now. A bond measure has also helped fuel security improvements at Portland Public Schools. Card readers, timed doors, vestibules when you walk in. A vestibule, basically an area with locked doors on two ends where people are screened before they're let into the building. And there are security cameras too. After being closed for remodeling over the last couple of years, Grant High School in Northeast Portland just opened up with those new security features. Well, even at some of our older schools, you'll see the addition of some card readers at entrances, uh, a changing out of locks. This year, Portland teachers from more than 20 schools also got training on how to stop bleeding. It's another step to student safety. Over in Beaverton, Five Oaks Middle School is ready to go after a busy summer. This summer is the summer that we've done the whole blasting of the front and putting a new vestibule in. And the doors in about 2,000 district classrooms. So this is one of our new lock sets. Have now been upgraded. A lot of the classrooms you actually had to reach out and lock it from the outside. Out of sight, out of, out of the way of anything that could be happening in the hallways. Further south, there's a new head of security for the Salem-Kaiser School District. He used to be a cop. I was a sergeant with Salem Police. I was there for about 17 years. His plan? To create meaningful relationships so parents and kids can feel safe reporting unsafe stuff they see at school. As for the physical security changes... Well, this is something we're really planning long term. Thanks to a bond, the district is investing $20 million in safety upgrades over the next handful of years. But this summer, secure entrances were added to Gubser Elementary. We want to make sure that there's person-to-person -person contact. Along with electronic card access for teachers and a two-way intercom system. So the spokesperson for Salem-Kaiser Schools says when everything is said and done, there won't be a single school in the district that didn't receive upgrades. And guys, wanted to also mention that Lake Oswego got a new system that allows them to see if a person coming into one of their schools is a registered sex offender. It just scans the driver's license and boom, the officials there know if they have someone who is a registered sex offender on their hands before they step in the school. Oh my gosh, that makes total sense. You wonder why not before now? Right. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on, but parents and students in Oregon have one safety feature and it's through Oregon State Police. Yeah, and what they've done is they've partnered up with all of our schools across the state. It's called Safe Oregon. Uh, parents, teachers, whoever can go to safeoregon.com. And from there, you can send an anonymous tip, whether that's through email, through the website, through the mobile app, they have an app, mm -hmm. um, or text message. So there are so many options that allow kids, parents, teachers to report something that they find suspicious or worrisome um, anonymously. So is this what we want to be talking about on the first day of school? Not necessarily, right. but it's some great information. You it did a, a terrific job of putting that all together for us, mm -hmm. so thank you for that. Mm -hmm.